Um, okay, let's get down to business. Let's get down to business. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. If you are new here, what's up? My name is Alex. Go ahead, subscribe, hit that bell button so you don't miss out on none of my videos. You already know about the title. This is my 2023 hygiene routine. Just gonna be talking about a few things in my routine. It's not much. I haven't watched other routines to know, but I feel like they have like a whole lot. It's not much. Okay, first, let's start with the shower routine. So basically, it consists of doing body wash, body scrub, shave, and I wash my hair. Like if I'm doing everything, I don't wash my hair all the time, I do it once a week, or if I like have a protective hairstyle like I do right now, then um, I don't wash it as often. I just pull the scalp and it's like fine. So the main body wash that I'm currently using is the Necessary Body Wash. It is a natural, kind of a little fancy body wash. I like it. Uh, what I like about it is that it don't have no fragrance. Like, it don't smell like men. So that's real nice and it makes your skin real soft and feels real clean. And it doesn't feel like my skin is real dry when I get out the shower. And I also got the body scrub that comes with it. I got the white bottle. I don't know if the other bottles have like different stuff in it. I definitely like using the scrub sometimes. It feels like a second cleanse and I believe it has activated charcoal in the little scrub beads so that like it, you really do feel clean with both products. Both products are 10 out of 10. I also got the lotion. Like I literally like it was like 2 in the morning and I just randomly bought all three of those things. I've been planning on buying them. But I also got the lotion too. It definitely feels soft on your skin. doesn't feel sticky. Like it just absorbs right into the skin. And it's great. It's really like a skincare routine for your body. That's what it basically feels like. Like a nice cleanser, moisturizer. That's exactly what it feels like. Also using my shower routine, I use Dr. Bronner's 16 in 1 soap. I don't do it all the time, but when I feel like I use that after I'm done like cleansing, exfoliating my body, then I shave. So the shave cream I use is the Billy shave cream. But I I think it's like coconut in it and I really like it feels very like smooth. It's like a whipped type texture. Like when you rub it together, it's very foamy and stuff. Next thing in my shower routine is my hair care routine. So usually I wash my hair once a week, like I said. I don't wash my hair all the time in the shower. So for the skincare, recently I've been like getting new skincare, trying to upgrade that because I haven't tried them in a while. Right now I'm using the CeraVe cleanser right now. At the time when I got it, I didn't know that it was tested on animals. So I have not gotten any CeraVe products after that. I'm just using the products that I already have so it won't go to waste. I could throw it away, but I don't have a new cleanser right now. So for exfoliant, I like to use the Dermalogica Milk Foliant. That is a 10 out of 10. I love how the is little fine, like, are they called beads? That's what I'm gonna call them. Fine little beads or whatever grain on my skin. It's very soft, it's not harsh. In this exfoliant category, I like to use the Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. I really like to use exfoliants sometimes. Not all the time, but it feels good on my skin and I like to smooth out the T-zone areas and get rid of blemishes on my face. Next couple things I like to use as I cleanse and exfoliate my face. I like the, I don't know how to pronounce it, the Caudalie. It's grape water spray. I think it's French. It's very soothing on the face and I just love the cool mist when I spray it. It's, love it. I like that it has antioxidants, so it's good for like free radicals, so like you go out in the sun and everything. It's very good for that. The next thing I use after that, or if I don't use that, but I always keep using no matter what day or night, is the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. 10 out of 10. All of these are 10 out of 10, but I really love this stuff. Like, it makes my skin look plump and smooth like a baby's butt. And I like that the ordinary is natural also. 
then I use the ordinary 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil but I know it's good for like aging skin sun damaged skin most things like that and I gotta keep a young face I really like to use it when I do my gua sha massages on my face and I don't do it all the time I do it like sometimes and I'm feeling like extra self care for myself so recently I got this new uh it's like a face serum it's called the glow recipe watermelon glow niacinamide dew drops I've seen some people use them on TikTok. I'm telling you it smells so good like the watermelon scent oh it smells so good like I, I could eat it and it like is a little tacky when you put on your um face it also can be used as a primer not just like a serum it is great as a primer Basically, the last step to my skincare routine, which is the most important step of your skincare routine, is sunscreen. So, I've been using the Black Girl sunscreen. I like about the uh, Black Girl sunscreen is that it's infused with jojoba oil and avocado. And it makes my face look very glowy. Now, for like my end of skincare routine, like if I'm doing like a extra self-care day or doing a little facial, I like to use face masks. So, I got two face masks from the same brand. I'm pretty sure it's Korean. But it's Tony Moly. I have the I'm Rice Clarifying Blemish Mask. Use it all the time, especially like that blemishes on my face. And I also recently got the I'm Honey Deep Moisture Rescue Mask. I love using that, especially like if I'm shaving my face or like just doing anything on my face that's a little harsh. Love it. It's so smooth. I believe that is everything for my skincare routine. There are a couple other products that I do have, but, you know, let me know if you want me to do, like, a whole in-depth skincare thing. I don't know. The last thing in my hygiene routine is dental oral care. I recently started trying to do oil pulling with coconut oil. I did it only one time, and it was weird. I don't know if I'll do it more than once, but you just, you know, put a spoonful in your mouth let it kind of melt chew down a little bit that's that's the the unsatisfying part and just let it melt and then swoosh it around like mouthwash if you don't already know i like to use the quilt toothbrush and toothpaste i also like the hello toothpaste which is more on the natural side so i might go back to using it after i brush my teeth because it has like a vibration pulses so you know how long to brush your teeth Cause it does like 30 seconds each so and you can change out the brush head which is real good i change mine every three months because that's what it says to do so i'll get you a quick brush then after that i have this like metal tongue scraper i used to have like a plastic one you just scrape down but metal tongue scraper i love it like i be scraping my tongue all the time get all that bacteria off your tongue I'm telling you your breath won't ever stink sometimes it depends but like Mostly after I get done doing all that and stuff, I use my water flosser. Or sometimes I do a little bit before. I like to use just a regular disposable floss and the water flosser just to get ultra clean. So the mouthwash I use is the Therabear mouthwash. I tried the green one the first time. It has like no taste to it, nothing. It just tastes like nothing. But now I use the blue one, which just gives like this minty feel. It's like how it feels to chew out gum. I think that is all for this hygiene routine. I hope you liked this video. Let me know. Comment below anything that you want to know. And yeah. Thanks for watching.